Well, in the case of Hurricane Katrina, you're dealing with a very unique situation. You're dealing with the displacement of literally hundreds of thousands of people and their animals. Add to that an area which was totally devastated. In many areas, there was no longer a shelter. In many areas, the people that were doing animal control are no longer with us. There was a belief that there were no animals to be found and that there wasn't a problem. However, those assessments were being given by people that weren't there. They were outside of the area. It's very clear to everyone and that there's thousands of animals still uh, in the streets. A lot of these neighborhoods are being bulldozed and no one's coming back to them. And there are animals there still waiting on their own porches for their people to come back. And no one's coming back. It was very apparent there was a potential animal problem. And at that time, the large organizations were not taking an active approach in the rescue. Best Friends was the first group to have access to Greater New Orleans to go in and start doing rescues. And we sent a team down to start the rescue. What we're seeing a lot here in New Orleans is a lot of trauma. A lot of animals coming here who are traumatized. They might have been in a loving home for years, and now they've been out on the street for months. There's also a tremendous amount of breeding going on. So we are pulling tons of puppies and kittens. They need our help. They don't have a voice, and they need our help more so now than ever. We had been given an opportunity by the national organizations and the local parishes here to have a final push to rescue the animals. So we created a triage center Called, we call it Celebration Station because we're, our location is literally at a place called Celebration Station, which is a, a former arcade. So welcome. Thank you all for coming. So we've got this sort of growing community, which is great. Uh, this is Celebration Station. Sometimes we refer to it as Sea Station. And it is the combined effort of Best Friends and Arno to do this final eight-week push to get the, the remaining animals off the street. Um, well, currently at Celebration Station, we've set up runs. We have a cat area inside. We created a triage center. and we're working with local groups, one of which is Animal Rescue New Orleans, as they are doing the rescue portion of it. We do them good, they're used to being free. So Arno is really a, a, a community of volunteers who are concerned about animals in New Orleans and getting them reunited with owners, getting them off the streets, and getting them a, a, really a chance, a chance in the world to be rehomed, to be spayed and neutered, to be moved into shelters where they can get adopted, all those things. So we're trying to support all ends of that and uh, the rescue piece is getting them off the street. This is Katie Schiffer. She will be running the whole feed and water program. And when I say the feed and water program... On the ground in New Orleans, we have people uh, going to all these sections of the city and placing feed and water stations for feeding the animals so that A, they get a chance to live to the point when their owners or guardians come back can find them and also to give them a chance that when we get the, to the point where we can trap them, we can actually trap them. So keeping them alive, essentially. I, I might have a, a just a quick job for you. Do okay. you mind um, putting a, just putting a dog in a crate and bringing it back? Not at all. Okay. Our guys have then we also have trappers who are trained in how to trap an animal. Some of these animals are so traumatized now that even their owners have sighted them but can't get them. Once we get them and their animals are able to see, oh, that is my owner, it's amazing the transformation very quickly back to a pet who lived in their house. But they have to be trapped. So we do trapping requests. 
So that's kind of what we're doing on the ground, is getting the animals off the street. So they'll send their trappers out, then they'll bring them to our best friends people that will do the triage and animal care. And then at that time, we've been given a five day period to try to track the owners of the animals. If they're unable to be reunited, they're then released for adoption. And then we'll, we are literally transporting them across the country to shelters and to individuals. And that's, I think, what is really driving us. in the back here, Rachel. And I talked to Debbie at the Utah office. She said, The whole Hurricane Katrina experience for me has been amazing because among all of this devastation and of all of this hardship on the people, I have just seen a wonderful outpouring of love and support from individuals all across the country. The volunteers here have all given up so much to come here. They've left their families, They've left their jobs, and they may be here for one or two days, or they may be here for two months. But every single volunteer that comes through here is helping us out. And they're all doing a key thing, whether it's feeding and watering, taking care of the animals, working on trapping, even cooking the food. They're all putting their part in, and, and we wouldn't be able to do it without it, because every shelter across the country needs help. And if you can spend a day, a weekend, a few hours going to your local shelter and helping out, then you're doing your part, and that's to save the animals. Oh.